Are you looking for the best free SEO tool? Tired of using paid tools or tools that ask for registration or credit card details to use their free versions? Well, this video is a must watch for you. Namaskar, my name is Saurav Jain and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Uber Suggest, an amazing tool that can help you in achieving three things at the moment. Number one, it can help you dig keywords for SEO with the right search volume. Number two, analyze your website's SEO status and keyword positioning. And number three, track competitors and their top ranking pages. And there are three more amazing things that I'm going to share at the end of this video. So please do watch this video till the end. Now let's look at some of the best SEO tools in the market. There are multiple SEO tools in the market, but the top five ones are SEMrush, Moz, AHREF, Longtail Pro, and Buzzsumo, which is used by content marketers. Most of these tools will first ask you to create an account, try their free account, and then charge you a premium account to access further. And in a lot of cases, credit card is a must for trial purpose as well. Imagine the power of these five tools under one. Well, Uber suggests is that powerful tool which is going to change the whole ball game. This tool has eliminated the whole registration process, freemium and premium model. It is absolutely free. You don't have to register. You don't have to opt for freemium model by using your credit card. You just have to log on and get started. So let's learn how to make best use of Uber Suggest. I'm going to teach you how to discover keywords and how to analyze the SEO value of your website or of your competitors. To get started, Log on to www.neelpatel.com slash ubersuggest. Once you log on to ubersuggest, you have an option to pick your, pick your country. So let's say I pick India and uh, you start with the keyword. So there are two options. One, you can use a keyword and analyze that in detail and get suggestions. Or you can enter your domain and analyze your website and understand what's working and what's not working. So let's uh, start from keyword I'm typing digital marketing and then clicking on search so you can see right now in India the search volume for digital marketing is about 1,35,000 uh, the difficulty score is given right here the difficulty score is basically the estimated competition in organic search the higher the number the more competitive it is so 68 is still very competitive uh, paid difficulty also because a lot of lot of companies have been tapping this keyword and the cost per click on an average is about rupees 167 now that's the search volume per month so this itself is very interesting feature to know because to get that accurate number you generally have to use the paid tools so this is available for free for you and besides this you start seeing a lot of keyword suggestions right there so not just digital marketing uh, right uh, as the basic keyword but there are a lot more suggestions we can which you can see and you can analyze these keywords for free of course so digital marketing was the keyword which i had used but you can see digital marketing course you can see digital, what is digital digital marketing what is digital marketing jobs digital marketing agency so if you are uh, a blogger you might want to write something on digital marketing agencies let's say if i write down on digital marketing agencies in india you can see that my blog comes right here because I have incorporated this word digital marketing agencies right there in the title as well as I have made a longest list up there on my blog. So hence all that I'm trying to tell you here is you need to pick up the words which is uh, relevant to your blog or to your business and you need to start writing content on that on the basis of the search volume that you see. So this also gives you an example of how competitive the keyword is and which are some of the top blogs which is ranking for certain keyword so you can see the keyword overview and what are those blog posts which is ranking on top and what has been the estimated traffic so uh, you can see that for digital marketing as a keyword a hubspot blog gets close to about 41,000 visits wikipedia gets 21,870 marketer gets 13,135 so that's in nutshell trying to actually help you in understand which are those top 25 or 30 blogs or sites up there which is getting traffic so 
this is from a keyword perspective you can put any keyword that you want and you can generate as many ideas as possible and you can dig further so let's say i'm doing a little hyper local keyword which is digital marketing chennai and uh, here you can see that for digital marketing chennai digital marketing course chennai has 2900 on an average monthly search digital marketing company chennai so as a blogger you might want to write content on these keywords there so uh, uh, and this is also showing what kind of sites are coming on top so you can see my company ecomi.in because i've incorporated those words sodomjane.com so see that two two top uh, sites which is getting some of the maximum traffic from the search uh, which is happening on google so that's one of the important components of uh, uber suggest so one of the other way to use uber suggest is to go on um, the site again and type down a domain that you want to analyze let's say i'm typing socialsamosa.com and using india as the context and click on search this way you can track your site as well as of your competitors so you can now see that social samosa has close to what 65,000 organic keywords uh, of which um, we can see that the organic traffic is about 40,947 which is fairly good and if you go down it also shows you what's the domain score which is 25 how many backlinks it has got how many backlinks from government and education site uh, and then it shows what's the organic traffic value for this website at the moment if you proceed down you can figure out what are some of the top sites uh, top pages of this particular website which you can look into besides this you can also figure out which are some of the top keywords which is bringing traffic to the site now let's look at one of the keywords right here Trivago guy the search volume for this guy is 8100 so if I am social samosa's competitor I am more likely to write down something called Trivago guy if there is a relevancy up there so let's say I'm writing about Trivago guys social media strategy and I'm putting across a content then I can at least expect some traffic from that estimated search volume which is about 8100 to, vis to visit my site so this is how you can make best use of ubersuggest.com and uh, some of the crucial features is the domain score usually we have always been benchmarking Moz and this is the score which is giving my Neil Patel so this is fairly gonna be all the more interesting and competitive in the market so so these are some of the two features which you can look into uh, top pages of that website as well as all the keywords that the website throws up right there so these are two features that you can look into one is top pages of the site that you have listed and keywords so you can analyze all the keywords right there you can export this and make best use of this for your very own blog or website so that was some amazing things from neil patel's uber suggest there are three more great things coming up in under 15 days you can track backlinks of your competitors you can analyze the website by making use of SEO analyzer so you can easily fix all the errors and you can make use of feature like Buzzsumo, the best content and influencer discovery platform. So what are you waiting for guys? Log on to this tool right now. The link is right below in the description section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Good day to you. Thank you.